Welcome to Chemistry Tutorial 360. Today we are going to draw the Lewis dose structure for phosphorus pentabromide. At first, to draw the Lewis dose structure for phosphorus pentabromide, at first we have to find out the valence electron for phosphorus. Look at here. Here is the elect electron configuration of phosphorus. Uh, here the outermost cell is third shell. In third shell we are getting uh, 3s, 3p, 3d but 3d is, is empty so in the third set we have 2 plus 3 that is 5 valence electron the out here n equal to 3 means the principal quantum number highest value of principal quantum number is 3 and the uh, outermost cell or highest value of principal quantum number indicates the valence electron in phosphorus however we have another way to find out the valence electron for phosphorus look at here the group number tells us the number of valence electron of the element. Look at here, phosphorus is an element of group 5 or 15. So if you if you delete the second digit, then you will get 5. Or if you get the first digit, if you delete the first, first digit, then you will get 5. That is, phosphorus has 5 valence electron. Okay, now we have to find out the valence electron for bromine. Bromine is an element of group 7 or 17. So if you deduct the A, then you are getting uh, 7. Or if you deduct first digit, then you are getting 7. So bromine has 7 valence electron. Look at here. <coughs> the outermost shell for bromine is 4th shell. In 4th shell, we have 2 plus 5, that is 7 valence electron. Look at here. Phosphorus can break the octet rule due to the presence of 3D orbital in the third shell or outermost shell or valency shell. Now we have to count the total number of valency phosphorus pentabromide. Phosphorus has 5 valency electron. And look at here. Every bromine has 7 valency electron, but we have here uh, 5 bromine. So we have here 35 uh, <coughs> valency electron. But if we add, then we are getting 40 valence electron, right? So in the third step, now we will find out the central atom. Look at here. Central atom is that type of atom that is single or that has lower electronegativity. So here phosphorus is the single and it has lower electronegativity than bromine. So phosphorus is the... Uh, central atom. In the first step, we have to connect central atom with outer atom. Here, bromine is outer atom, right? Look at here. Totally in phosphorus pentabromide, we have 40 valence electron, uh, but in the first step, to connect central atom with outer atom, we have used 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 5 lines. That is, we have used just 10 valence electrons. One line, one line equal to 2 valence electron, right? One line equal to 2 valence electron. So here we have 10 valence electron. So we have 30 valence electron left. Now, these 30 valence electrons will be used to uh, to satisfy the octet for outer atom first then central atom so this bromine has two valence electron we need six for this bromine this bromine also needs six This woman also needs six. Look at here. This woman has six, but we have one, two, three, four, five. That is five times six, 30. So we have used all the electrons. So we have nothing left. So So this is the Lewis dose structure for phosphorus pentabromide. Look at here. This phosphorus has 10 valence electron. 
this is because the uh, presence of 3d orbital in the valence shell of phosphorus that is phosphorus can break octet rule now we have to find out the formal charge for each atom let me find the formal charge for phosphorus first formal charge is valence electron minus dot minus line valence electron for phosphorus is 5 minus uh, dots attached to this phosphorus is 0 minus line attached to this phosphorus is 5 so basically you are getting 0 now let me find out the uh, <coughs> formal charge for bromine bromine has 7 valence electron and dots attached to bromine is 6 minus line attached to this bromine is 1 so basically we have zero formal charge so all atoms will have zero formal charge so this is the base Lewis structure for phosphorus pentabromide as you know that the base Lewis structure uh, is the one that has uh, that has zero formal charge for most of the atom I will have a blog post in the description box of this video. You can read that blog post to get more ideas. So thank you for viewing this video. Be well.